Yo guys, it's Arwood 2 k here, and in this video I'm going to show you my garage tour after the lowrider update. So obviously not all the cars are in here are lowriders, and there's some ones which I do want to replace once the Halloween update comes out, and I'll tell you which ones those are once I get in. But since you have four garages, I managed to dedicate this one to have a nice theme, I guess. As you can see, I've got two of the same colour, then one in the middle, and two of the same colour. Two of the same colour, one in the middle, and two of the same colour. So my fourth garage I'm probably not going to do a garage tour on, just because it's just random cars which I want to use. But anyway, let's get into it. So first of all on this side we have the faction. I put this in purple just because I thought it looked quite nice and I know you can, it's pretty hard to make this car not look tacky and it kind of still looks a bit tacky but oh well I'm going to see if I can do the doors. See the sound system or whatever, I have no idea if you can do it in here. No, I didn't think so. I and mean, this is the Dinka Blister. I'm getting rid of this as soon as the Halloween update comes out. I'm getting the Lurcher and the Franken whatever. But yeah, I don't really like this. I literally just made this so I had another car to be in the garage without only had nine in it. This is obviously the Roosevelt. I've had this for ages and I've just kept it classic just because I think it looks pretty cool like this. And I moved it into this garage, even though it's completely different style to these lowrider ones, it's still a kind of classic classic car if you know what I mean. On to the coquette. Um this isn't like the fastest sports car, but I actually really like the handling on it. It's really good for drifting in my opinion. It doesn't drift the best, but it drifts like you can control it really well. So yeah, I put this in red with a lot of the carbon on it, that's why I use these carbon inferno wheels. And I think this car looks pretty cool. You've probably seen this entity before if you've watched my funny moments, but I just made one because I needed the custom supercar. There's some reason I just have one. I mean, I can obviously afford it if you can see it there. I just could never be bothered. I just always use the stock ones in my races. I believe this is the Buccaneer. And yeah, they look completely different once they've been fully customised. And I put these really nice chrome wheels on with um, white walls, and then I put this nice livery on and put it in the blue colour. I'll show you the interior as well, it looks pretty cool in my opinion. And yeah, overall I think this car works well. This is probably my second favourite lowrider, this is obviously the Voodoo. And you buy this car rusty as all of you know, and then you make it into this amazing looking car. And I think this livery looks really cool, and especially if we're going with the interior as well, it works really well in my opinion. This is definitely my favourite looking lowrider. I don't know, I just like the white and the gold livery as well, I honestly think this looks really cool. And you can see the interior it just looks really clean, and these like little blue underglow looks pretty cool as well in my opinion. I am completely forgot what this is called, I think it's called a Prino, or Pre I think it's Prino. Primo, that's it actually. And so this car, I didn't think this looked really good going into it, but you can do so much to this, it looks really cool. And if any of you um, played Black Ops 2, you can see like the bottom of this livery and like, the bottom of a bun bumper. So I mean, this kind of reminds me of a pack a punch DLC camo. So anyway, I put on the Cabernet red, made the engine look really cool, and then took off the bonnet. And I think this works really well. I actually do really like this car now. Obviously, you wouldn't like it in real life, but it's a game, isn't it? This car is obviously the Moonbeam. I put this also in a Cabernet red with gold. Doesn't look as cool as the other one, but I'm actually going to take it outside because the main cool thing about the moonbeam is um, the interior. So, I did the red beam, I put the chrome wheels on the same as the Buccaneer, and yeah, you're going to see what you can do to this. Now, if any of you didn't know how to open the doors, you just go into the little menu and then vehicle doors all, and you can just open it. So, right now, you can see. Oh, didn't mean to do that. So, right now, you can see the engine. And then as you can see I have the doors open and you can see the speakers inside and these speakers actually work. And you see it's got this massive sound system here which is really cool and the hydraulics also work in this car. So I do hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. And yeah, it's been Albert UK and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.